Okay, we're going to do the name Daniel in Descript now. Now, these letters are pretty straightforward and pretty simple, unlike the word we just did in Matthew. This one is much simpler. So, let's have a look at it. Standard D, standard A, standard N, standard I, standard E, standard L. Very straightforward. Now, this doesn't look very well, first of all, because I'm drawing it quickly and not paying much attention. Second of all, because the form is not very good. Now, the DA combo can be drawn much smoother and quicker like so by merging those two strokes. Now, the AN combo can also be done like this, AN, thus simplifying. And the EL can be done like so by adding the E to there. A crosshair is it's quite simply an EL. Or, I should have picked, crosshair is a good word, I suppose. Anyways, let's not get hung up on that. So, let's see what it looks like when we draw a nicer version of it, and let's pay a little more attention to how we draw. And that is a simple version, too. What I mean by simple version is it's drawn vertically. Descript starts vertically. The fun part is when you take what I call a word line, and first you can d then break it off into side chains, and twist them so that they can occupy just a perfect tight space where they optimally occupy just as much space as is necessary for them to convey the meaning. Hopefully this will increase the efficiency. So, if we look at Daniel, we can do something like this. Which also highlights one more thing, the I. You can also add an E to the end of an I like so. And then an I-E-L would be that simple, as long as it is clear that there is an I. The I is always identified by this kind of breakaway, where it is the line ends, but or the, the shape, or the circle, or whatever, seems to be a dead end, but it is encapsulated by something else. That is what makes it perfectly clear that this is not a new word, this is the, still continuing the word, but the letter I has occurred.